pray more in tongues. Not just praying two minutes in tongues and stopping and checking your watch. You pray in tongues and pray in tongues and pray in tongues. Okay? And learn, learn to do this more often. A lot of times when you're alone, pray in tongues. Don't just stay there thinking. No, pray in tongues. You would make a lot of things happen in the realm of the spirit when you pray in tongues. And your spirit would be in that communication with God when you pray in tongues. You know, there are Christians who don't believe in praying in tongues. I don't know how they can, I don't know how, how they can suffer like that and believe it's okay. To not be able to pray in tongues is suffering. Because it means you're like, you're like a bird that wants to fly but hasn't grown wings. All you do is... You can fly. You do this. Christians that speak in tongues can fly. And Christians that don't speak in tongues cannot fly. How, how can... Tell me, how else can we effect changes in places that are far away from us? Only through the power of the Holy Spirit. We can give words that affect others who are far away from Him through the power of the Holy Spirit. And it will work. But if you don't have that power, you just be talking. You're like trying to fly, but you can't. <laughs> you can't go. Have you ever seen a chicken trying to fly? And it's flapping its wings like this, but it keeps running on the ground. Some even try and fly up a little, but you know, they can't sustain it. And they go back down. While there are others gliding in the air. <laughs> so, tongue-talking believers can glide in the air, in the realm of the spirit, okay? While the others, they need help. So if you're here today and you don't speak in tongues, instead of asking such stupid questions as most everybody speak in tongues, your question has not helped you so far. Since you have been asking this question, you have still not spoken in tongues. So why are you cheating yourself? Why don't you just say, I want it? Since it's free, you're not paying anything. So why argue? It's free. It's an advantage. So it doesn't, it doesn't help you to be arguing that it's not for everybody. It doesn't help you. Since it's free, why don't you take it? You don't lose anything. You won't lose anything for having it. After all, after you have had it, if you don't want to use it, then you can decide. But if you don't have it at all, then you, you can't make a decision. Have it first. If after speaking in tongues for some days you don't like it, then stop. <laughs> you know, it's like somebody who grew up in the village. All the time while he was in the village, far inside the village, he heard that somebody went out and something called a car killed him. So he said, a car killed him. He has never seen a car. But he heard that a car killed somebody. Then he heard another one. Another person went one day, had an accident and died in the car. So he's been hearing about cars killing people. What do you think he will do the first day he sees a car? He will run away. <laughs> he will run away. Because he's been told that cars kill people. You see? So imagine this. Imagine this. Because he has never ridden in one, he's never been in a car, all he has heard is that it kills people. So, imagine that you are telling him, I'm going to buy you a car. What do you think he would do? Never! 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 No! Never! 
Abraham said, never. He will think you are cursing him. Because he said, I'm going to buy you a car. He will beg you. I don't want it. You say, why? He may not tell you immediately. But the real truth is, he has been indoctrinated that cars kill people. So you're going to have a hard time trying to explain to him how those people died. That's where you have to start. How those people died. That the car did not move by itself. Somebody misused the car. That's why it killed those people. Then he says, uh -huh. Because some people heard that those who speak in tongues, they went mad. People who are speaking in tongues are not speaking the true tongues. They are speaking fake tongues. They've heard a lot of things. But people who speak in tongues are pretending. People who speak in tongues are fanatics. All kinds of things they've heard. Until someone helps them understand that someone else might have misused what he had. Doesn't mean that it's no good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Did you get it? Did you know that the anointing of God is so strong in this place? Yes, it is. The anointing of God is so strong here. Power of God. Strong in this place. Hallelujah. It is now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us he says unto him be glory in the church <laughs> unto him be glory in the church that means he expects me to bring God glory from my life by the operation of the power of God within me. I've got to put that power to work to bring him glory. The church must bring him glory by the operating power of the Holy Ghost within us.